Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Papo Allosaurus. Okay, so as you can see our Allosaurus here has the typical Papo tags on it. Uh, first of all it has a sticker right there and then it also has a tag attached to its leg. Go ahead and get these removed. And there we are, much better without those tags on it. As you can see, this is a very striking and dynamic looking dinosaur. It has a lot of personality and a lot of great detail that went into creating it. It looks like it is in a walking position, perhaps walking a bit briskly, but it doesn't look like it's in a very intense situation. It doesn't appear like it's about to pounce on any other dinosaurs or anything. The coloration on this dinosaur is also very, very nice. As you can see, they used a lot of different colors to bring out the various details incorporated into the design. And unlike many of the Papo dinosaurs that we have reviewed, this particular one is not based off of the Jurassic Park films, which makes sense since Allosaurus did not appear in any of the Jurassic Park films, at least not yet anyway. But it's a very good example of what Papo can do by incorporating their own original designs. Give you a close-up here of the head. As you can see, it looks phenomenal. Absolutely love the amount of detail that Papo meticulously crafted into bringing this Allosaurus to life. It just looks really, really good. Lots of nice uh, color details in the head area. Um, the crests above its eyes are very nice looking. Uh, the snout also looks really, really great. Looks almost Tyrannosaurus-like. Uh, there at the tip, love the nostrils, lots of detail in that area right there. Um, the teeth also are quite jagged and of uh, varying lengths, which, you know, is a good indicator of attention to detail. The eye itself looks to be very, very nice. It has, a, it's basically like an orange color with a little black dot for the pupil. You can see these little spines here um, on the neck, which uh, carry on all the way through the body and then uh, through the length of the tail, which is very cool other side of the head. Just looks really, really good. I think this actually looks very organic, very natural. Doesn't look particularly uh, scary, per se. Um, just looks like a really realistic interpretation of an Allosaurus. There is some slop on the on the teeth areas there, you can see. But, um, I mean, I don't think I have a single Papo dinosaur that doesn't have some sort of paint flaws. Uh, it still looks really good. And like with the other Papo dinosaurs, of course, at least as far as the carnivores are concerned, uh, you can open the mouth. You simply pull down on the jaw and uh, you get another uh, look at what Allosaurus may have been like when it was bearing its teeth. Very, very nice. Uh, really good detail. You can see the teeth better with the mouth opened. Uh, the roof of the mouth has a very good amount of detail in there. Uh, different colors that were used to bring out the detail. Very, very nice. Uh, this area in between the cheeks. This area in between the jaws looks very nice, different colors again. And the tongue has quite a bit of detail on it and a different coloration that was used. It just looks very dynamic, has a lot of personality, and I think it gives you a really good idea of what an Allosaurus may have been like. For the colors, you can see that it's basically like a deeper green here up front. It has this more vibrant sort of orange right there in the uh, near the eye. And then, uh, you know, you get more of a cream or like a greenish cream color underneath the neck. And then uh, more of the orange back here in the neck. Um, they just use those colors very well, using them in different areas in order to bring out those details, which I think is really, really uh, stunning for this particular dinosaur. The neck area looks really good. You can kind of see what looks maybe like a seam there. That Maybe that's where they put the, uh, the head of the dinosaur on. Um, but just looking at the body, you can see plenty of detail on it. The scales look fantastic. And uh, again, like I was saying with the head, they just use those colors very wisely on this dinosaur and just kind of spread them throughout. You can see those different colors on different parts of the body. Uh, the chest area has like these larger scales on it. Uh, the belly has the smaller scales and it got more of an orangey tinge to it and uh, just looks really, really nice. Uh, the back of the dinosaur has um, these much more bulky looking scales. Uh, of course, you got those spines running down the length of the body, but uh, the scales on the back get, give it a very reptilian kind of look and uh, it just looks really cool. 
Um, interestingly, the spines back here are very long, which you wouldn't really expect, but, uh, you know, very cool artistic interpretation of an allosaurus. The arms are kind of just hanging there, as you can see. It's not really using them to do anything, but the level of detail on them is very, very good. You can see the, uh, the way that they sculpted the hands like that. It just looks really good, kind of almost bird-like, you know, the way they position their wings when they're not flying. And they use like a brown coloring to bring out the details there on the fingers, and I think the hands just look terrific. This one's almost kind of like barely touching on its leg right there, which uh, the legs itself, very, very nice. They certainly look quite powerful and muscular, very, very uh, dynamic in appearance. They also used like um, this uh, brown color here, like what they did with the hands uh, down here on the knees and then on the, the front of the, uh, the shins and then on the toes, which is pretty cool. It's got its black toe claws. Looks quite nice. You can see uh, the ribs right there on the side of its uh, body. And then the tail has a very nice look about it as well. Uh, I really like how it uh, kind of curves like that, and it looks to be an adequate length as well. Just very nicely uh, sculpted, very nicely detailed. Uh, I think that they really knocked this one out of the park, so to speak. Now I do gotta tell you that this was my second Allosaurus. The first one that I got just didn't stand. I would position it on the surface, and uh, after a few minutes it would just fall sideways like that. This one is much better, and uh, interestingly the paint on this one is actually different as well. It has more of that orange kind of look to it. Uh, it just looks a little bit more colorful than the other one did. The other one was more of like a grayish kind of color. Here's a comparison of the two. You can see the original one that I had on the top and then this one on the bottom. And then here's a look at two Jurassic dinosaurs encountering one another. Of course, Allosaurus and Stegosaurus did live during the same time period. Allosaurus specimens have been found with wounds that were quite likely inflicted by Stegosaurs. So if you were around back in the Jurassic period, you no doubt would have witnessed this sort of encounter. I think they're scaled together quite nicely. The Stegosaurus might be a little bit too large, but you could chalk it up to saying that the Allosaurus is perhaps not fully grown. I think they look really good together, and if you wanted to have these two in a diorama on a shelf, that they go together quite nicely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Papo Allosaurus. Overall, I must say that I'm very, very pleased with this particular dinosaur. Of course, I enjoy all of the Papo dinosaurs that I own, but what I really like about this one is that it represents a original take on Papo's part on what an Allosaurus may have looked like, and I think that is really cool. Papa has been releasing more original designs for their dinosaurs, and I think that's excellent. I really like their Jurassic Park inspired dinos, but uh, it's also nice to see something like this. The sculpt work on this one is absolutely excellent. Uh, the level of detail that was created here is impeccable. I also must say that the pose adds to that striking appearance of this dinosaur. It just looks very, very cool. The coloration is very nicely done. I love how they used uh, the orange in a few spots and how they use the different colors and uh, carried them throughout the body. I think that adds a lot to this dinosaur and makes it very organic in appearance. Once again, I really do love all of my Papo dinosaurs, but if I had to pick just one and say that it was the best one that I have and my favorite one that I have, it would definitely be this Allosaurus. I just think that Papo did a stupendous job designing this Allosaurus. And consider that you can get it for around $20. It's a really good deal. This is certainly one of my favorite dinosaurs in my personal collection. And if you're a fan of the Papo dinosaur toy line, or just dinosaurs in general, I think that this is certainly one that you are going to want to have in your collection because it is just stunning to look at. Really, really love Papo's take on this Allosaurus. All right, my friends, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this Allosaurus down in the comments. And as always, I want to thank you for watching Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, bye-bye.